barbarian, ba barbarian, ba ba barbarian. The Japs. The great indoor marketplace. Here, the discerning shopper can find everything from the latest in fashion and delightful pets. A trumpet playing chicken! That's the perfect entertainment for the sorcerer's convention. To the miracles of modern medicine. Now, this will slim you down nicely. I call it leech o suction. Ah, and what else ye? I've been feeling a little down lately. I keep wondering, why am I here? What is my purpose in life? <gasps> it sounds like you're suffering from what we healers call... nothing. Is it curable? Curable? Ah, uh, sure, sure. Uh, you want one hole in your head or two? I came here for advice! And I just do holes and leeches. If you want advice, I guess you could read some of those self-help scrolls. But they're all written by crackpots and weirdos. Crackpots and weirdos? Count me in! Man, am I in a lousy mood? Well, according to these self-help scrolls, you need to express your feelings fully. Express my feelings, huh? I'll give it a try. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Dave. I do feel better. Really? At last, I know my purpose in life! To help people! And to do that, I must become a psychophlubicologist! What's a psycho? It simply means that I talk to people about their problems, and their problems go away. Does that mean if I talk about you, you'll go away? I believe I can help you, Fang. Clearly, your feelings of jealousy vis-a-vis -vis your much more intelligent brother have engendered tremendous hostility. Ow! My head! Quit using big words! How do big words make you feel? Quit following me! How does being followed make you feel? Quit asking questions! How do questions make you feel? Candy! Dave will stop asking me how I feel! Cut it out, Dave. Why? How does it make you feel? Um, I don't know. How does not knowing make you feel? I have to go now. How does going make you feel? Uncle Oswich, Dave keeps asking me how I feel! Look at this little guy, huh? I got him for entertainment at the Sorcerer's Convention tomorrow. I call him Coco. How does the Sorcerer's Convention make you feel? Dave, I... How does saying, Dave, I... make you feel? You're bugging me, Dave. How does that make you feel? I'm getting really cheesed off. How does that make you... Zerf! <laughs> I was only trying to help. Really? Hey, what's that green goo anyway? It's a cleansing mask. It's supposed to remove all imperfections from my face. Wow, it works great. Don't you think, Coco? Sometimes I worry that I've lost my edge. And how does that make you feel? Well, mad. But pretty much everything makes me mad. In fact, you're kind of ticking me off just by sitting there. Hmm, yes. Lula, I'd like you to express your anger. Not yet! I'd like you to express your anger with what we psychophlubicologists call a primal scream. You want screaming? You got it, Buster. <gasps> and at this very moment, deep beneath the ground, Lula's scream awakens something. Something horrible. Who dares wake Korsmir, Udragothian god of overused punctuation? Whoever it is, he shall pay! Um... Or she. <laughs> it's a disaster! It's the end of the world! I'll say it is. Coco the trumpet playing chicken is missing! Something's coming! <laughs> Who has awakened me from my eternal slumber? She did it! Thank you, David. Remind me, later, I'll do horrible things to you with a cheese grater. I shall crush you all. Then I shall go on a furious rampage, devastating everything in my... Um, oh, what's the word? Devastating everything in my... Nose? Pockets? Trumpet lane chicken? Huh? Yes, devastating everything in my path. Thank you. Flying potato. And now, flaming loogies! I shall annihilate all the Earth! Um, why? Why? You know, 
I never really thought about it before. Why must I destroy? Why do I feel such rage? Why do I persist in doing this atrocious comb over when I'm obviously balding? I mean, seriously, who am I fooling? Oh, if only there was someone who could help me. Someone whose whole purpose in life is helping people. Oh, 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 me, me, me. And so Dave begins the process of helping Cosmere express his emotions. And then, Mommy took my nine eye lanky. Your mother took your... nine eye lanky! My night night blanket. She said I couldn't drag around a ratty old blanket if I wanted to grow up to be an evil monster! <laughs> All you have to do is identify your emotions and let them out. So, Quasmere, how do you feel? I feel... I feel... like... DESTROYING! I think we've made some real progress here today. What are you talking about? He's still wrecking everything! Yes, but now he knows why. So, who wants a cappuccino? The fearsome Quasmere expresses his emotions, wreaking havoc upon an unsuspecting populace. <laughs> Back in present the Norwin! Oh, um, I was just, uh... Cheese, you say! Mmm, we got that. Cheese! So many come on to me. Mmm, <laughs> I loves me some cheese. Not the cheese! What's the big deal? Cheese produces phlegm. And? And if the cheese creates more phlegm, that means bigger flaming loogies. And? Look, I'm gonna put this in terms you can understand. You could destroy all the shopping! <gasps> Not on my watch! Don't mess with the princess! Ha! You dare to threaten! <laughs> You got Coco in there, too? I can't let this go on. I have sworn to help Quasmir. No, 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 no. Stop right... Why are you stopping me? That guy's a menace to shopping. Besides, if he ate all that cheese, it'd go straight to his hips. My purpose in life is helping people, and I am going to help you. We will use the mightiest weapon in the Psychoflubicologist's arsenal. Candy crabs! I made a pot holder. It's pretty. Very nice, Cosmere. Wow, Dave, your handicrafts treatment has turned this evil monster into a really nice guy. Nothing like a pot holder to help you deal with repressed emotions. Hey, what should I do with this? Why don't you give it to your mother? <laughs> Mommy took my nine eye lanky! The jabbers! Oh, nice job, David. Now we're right back where we started. Don't be silly. He's much worse now. Dave! You've been a psycho loses for less than a day, and you've already taken off your whole family and unleashed an ancient evil that's destroying the city! What's your point? Maybe this will make it clear. Uh, I see. <sighs> You're right. All I wanted to do was help people, and I've done nothing but cause misery and suffering. It's okay, Dave. You did your best. Thanks, I... It's just that your best was really lame and stupid. Dave, can't you see? It isn't you Quasmere needs to talk to. Well, Mrs. Quasmere's mom, do you have anything to say to your son? Ha! Oh, he never calls, he never writes, I ask you. Is this the way for a son to act? Well, he has been pretty busy. In the last 50,000 years, he's destroyed 1,400 buildings, 800 acres of farmland, and a donkey named Lewis. The donkey was an accident. I thought it was a toothpick! Ooh, my, my! Such a lot of destroying you've done! I guess you've grown up to be a real evil monster after all. Son! <laughs> Herbert! Herbert! I have something for you! I, I, my key. I made you a, a pretty pot holder. I think this calls for a celebration. Oh, it certainly does. Herbert, what do you say we destroy the northern half of the continent, huh? I love a happy ending. Happy ending? They're gonna destroy half a continent. Yeah, but not the half we live in. Good point. <laughs> Coco, I knew you were in there. But you, 
you're in no condition to play the sorcerer's convention. Great. I finally figure out my purpose in life is helping people. I can't even do it. I'm such a schmo. Hey, Dave, I know how you can help people. Really? Anything to help. Take the plunge under the sea with Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder in The Little Mermaid. Coming up next, here on Disney Channel.